So yesterday I delivered a message to a team from uh, Newport University and what we can see today is that it's not just the young people it's focused on, the range of ages and uh, indeed females and males was that we could see from 19 to the gentleman who was 55, 56 years of age who was on his third career. So there's opportunities for all walks of life to come and, and, and embrace this and brilliant this challenge today. We need uh, big names we need employers, we need companies to come in and join us in training the, the students, training the next generation graduate, the next generation scientists, the next generation uh, digital forensic investigators or security experts. We need to work together in bringing the real world, real scenarios inside the academic environment making sure that the students will understand and appreciate what is happening out there and will have a real perception of the real world. Hello, my name is Indra Krishna Dhawan. I'm uh, originally from Lucknow, India and over here based in Cardiff. I graduated from University of Wales Newport on a golf scholarship and a 2-1 uh, BSc Honours Forensic Computing. I think the course is very, very in-depth if you take it further because like any course you have to do your own research into it. But what the course gives you is an all-round perspective onto how an e-crime is actually dealt with in the real, real world itself, which is why I chose to do the course. It gives you all-round side of software development and like you know uh, network security and how a computer forensic investigation is dealt with. And then what you learn is like how data never leaves you know from your disk, whether you delete it also. It is always there. So community forensic is all onto that, how you can recover that information and join the dots as the topic of the conference was today, joining the dots in order to solve the crime. And that's really helpful in the course itself. Through our support to the e-crime summit here today, I've noticed that I've got people from a broader spectrum of life. And in generally, uh, speaking to some digital forensics guys from Newport University, we can see that there's people moving away from the standard internet service provider security protection to actually the science of it and actually coming into the business in that route. So traditional routes into our organisation and how we're doing uh, the cyber security of today is a, a multidiscipline from different walks of life. You know, we have uh, people from uh, health sector, from the policing sector and from academia now looking at it as an opportunity to come and therefore we're broadening our appeal and it's fantastic to have them opportunities for people and we welcome them into the industry because we need the different types of personality to provide the whole collegiate protection that we want to require to support the defence of the global cyber network.